We've all heard examples of how police abuse their positions, but I'm not quite sure if I've ever heard of an example as pathetic as this one by PC Stuart Ball from Avon and Somerset Police. Now, although this incident happened some time ago in August 2018, the misconduct hearing has only just concluded. On the 28th of August 2018, PC Stuart Ball entered a Sports Direct store. Now, although I have the name of the guy, the misconduct hearing chairperson ruled that he should remain anonymous, but his name is already out in the public domain. So, what a shame, Stuart Ball. Anyway, Ball attempted to buy two basketballs from the store, but was informed by a member of staff that one of the balls was not stock and was in fact lost property, therefore not for sale. Personally, I, I can't really see how a lost property item got out on the shop floor. Seems a bit of a mystery, but that is what has been reported. It was alleged that PC Ball did what most police do and reverted to his prepubescent stage and claimed finders rights, otherwise known as finders keepers. I wonder how well that would work in the opposite, you know, with one of his victims telling him that he had finders rights to the wallet they just found in somebody's pocket. Mind you, PC Ball had his get out of jail free card, his warrant card, which he produced while trying to intimidate the staff into letting him have the basketball simply because he was police. I can picture it in my head now. <laughs> Give me that ball, I'm a police officer. You have to do what I say, even if it's wrong. Whilst, of course, stamping his feet. It was said that when he produced his warrant card, he directed that the ball, being lost and found, should be taken to a police station. The complainant said that he revealed he was a police officer and said I should go with him to the police station before taking photos of me on his phone and telling me if you want to work in retail, you had better get used to this sort of confrontation or words to that effect in an almost, well, if I can't have it, I'll take it away from you type tantrum. A member of staff did in fact take the lost basketball into a police station the following day where they went on to make a complaint against PC Ball. Being a police constable and knowing that he is to uphold the highest standards of behaviour and integrity, once he found out about the complaint against him, he decided to lodge complaints of his own by accusing the manager of theft and threatening violence that made him fear for his personal safety. PC Ball was accused of dishonest and malicious attempts to initiate criminal proceedings against the manager. The misconduct panel concluded that the officer's conduct in the shop was bullying, intimidating and an abuse of his position as a police officer and that his accusations of criminal wrongdoing by the member of staff were dishonest and malicious. Although I'm sure nobody listening to this right now is surprised to hear that. Superintendent Simon Wilstead, head of professional standards, said holding the office of constable brings with it significant responsibilities and powers. This case is a reminder of the need for police officers to uphold the highest standards of behaviour and integrity, both on and off duty. In other words, please abuse your position as constable with care and only in situations where you're able to talk your way out of it. PC Ball has now been dismissed although there is no information as to whether he is barred from becoming a police constable at another force. I also find it disturbing that it has taken so long for a hearing to be held over this matter when it happened on the 28th of August 2018.